What's up, cuties? Happy Saturday. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. While you are here, please make sure to hit that like button, hit the notification bell. Definitely make sure you are subscribed and share my video with your friends and family. I wanted to come to you guys with a story and a testimony from one of Mel's friends. Uh, let me go ahead real quickly, put up this copyright disclaimer, and then we're going to go ahead and get into the story. But the news article and everything else that I will be sharing uh, is covered under fair use, under copyright disclaimer, under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. So, the scary situation has been over, but the effects aren't. And I am speaking about Dr. Derricka Harwell. Now, you guys know Derricka. Her and Mel has been girls for years, for years. Um, here is a picture of them when they went live years ago, okay? And she's been around for quite some time. She's been involved in the mimosas with Melody and all of that. Well, if you are not familiar, there was an attempted unaliving of Derricka by a YouTube star and motivational speaker and all of the above, Ashley Grayson. So what I want to do real quickly is let me go over the story again for those that don't know. And then I will get into Derricka's testimony. It's amazing what some of these strong women that we see, what they have gone through. And I've been familiar with this uh, story as far as what's been going on with Ashley, a whole scammer. And yeah, it's done done when it comes to her. But let me read. This is courtesy of the Atlanta Black Star. And they wrote this uh, April 5th, yesterday. Okay. Um, but they say, just wild. Ashley Grayson, entrepreneur who gained popularity after R&B singer Monica performed at engagement party, has been found guilty in the order for hire scheme. So I'm going to read the article. It says one half of the social media power couple who was criminally indicted for a murder for hire scheme has been found guilty in federal court. Ashley and Joshua Grayson were charged last summer with the use of interstate commerce facilities in the commission of murder for hire. Prosecutors allege that the Mississippi-based couple contacted a contract iller with a K, iller with a K. Uh, let me highlight it so you guys can see it. In Tennessee, between August and September 2022, and paid that individual to order another person to unalive another person. A jury convicted Ashley Grayson last Friday for the crime, according to court documents obtained by the Atlanta Black Star. Her husband, Joshua, was cleared of any wrongdoing. How? Because allegedly he was involved as well. But let me continue. Ashley gained notoriety online after reportedly making one million less than an hour 
after launching her online business, Digital Course Recipe. People became more familiar with Grayson following her lavish proposal to Joshua. So, yes, she proposed to him, which took place on a rented yacht and featured a performance by Monica, the R&B singer. Videos and pictures of the event went viral, which earned the couple a massive social media following. The year after their engagement, allegations started circulating that the success Ashley garnered from her online business was greatly exaggerated. Oh, child, every mammy or somebody, S-T-E-A-L, and that the money she made was actually from a workers' compensation settlement after she lost a finger at her old job. One woman accused Grayson of cheating her out of $2,000 after she bought the course and was subsequently blocked. So she took her money and blocked the child. In 2022, and this is where Mel's friend Derricka comes into play. In 2022, Grayson filed a defamation lawsuit against a financial coach named Derricka Harwell, alleging that a comment Harwell posted under one of Grayson's Facebook posts were false, defamatory, and injurious. The suit claimed that Harwell post permanently damaged Grayson's personal reputation online and around the world and made people believe that Grayson stalked and harassed Harwell. Okay. And then here is a comment that Derricka left. Uh, and it says, child, I had to get legal and file a whole restraining order on this one. It ain't what you think. I promise. Be careful who you show admiration to, sis. I bet a million dollars. This ain't it. Baby, that was a whole comment. You hear me? But in the indictment documenting the murder for hire plot, prosecutors identified the targeted murder victim by the initials D.H. D.H. Derricka Harwell. That individual was not harmed. Most of the records are sealed in the case, and it is not clear how federal investigators became aware of the plot. But there is a video circling online with a woman who seems to appear to be Ashley Grayson speaking to another woman on video chat about Derricka. However, it is not confirmed if the recordings is linked to the case. Grayson will be sentenced on July 12th. She faces up to 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. I hope she get every bit 10 years. That's just me. But again, the scary situation is over. Thank goodness, because she was found guilty and we are looking forward to that sentencing. But what I want to show you guys is Derricka's post. Poor Derricka. She's been through so much. And I'm sure that this was just extremely, extremely scary. You know what I mean? Somebody is trying to hire someone to unalive you. My goodness. But let me go ahead. I'm going to read two posts of Derricka's that she shared on her Instagram page. And I believe this is the first one that I want to share. So this one was six days ago. And then I'm going to read the one from last night. But Derricka posted, after almost three years of this horrific obsession, constant harassment, and enduring absolute hell, privately, Ashley Grayson was found guilty of plotting my unaliving today. So the um, the news article wasn't sure if it was Derricka, but it was. She made sure she was found guilty of plotting her unaliving. Taking the stand yesterday was one of the most difficult things I had to do. I endured so much privately and a good 50% of it was about to be on display. 
I went from being told by local police, that's just a social media thing, and crying because the courts refused to hear me. Hold on. Let me read it from here. Okay, because the courts refused to hear me in 2021 when I said she's escalating to now having a guilty verdict on Good Friday. I'm thankful for every friend and family member who prayed with me and for me and to every FBI agent, attorney, etc., who put in work to make this happen. My family and I are forever grateful. And although she was only charged with trying to take my life, I pray that the other two victims, Sherelle Hodge and Patrick Tate, feel like this win is for us all. May them and their families finally get peace. They deserve, finally get the peace they deserve, and their healing process can begin. To Olivia and Brandon, thank you for showing up and contributing to seeing justice served. We are grateful. I am on a long road, I'm sure it is, to healing. And so is my family. But we thank each, and excuse the fur babies, y'all. But we thank each and every one of you for your love, prayers, and continue to. Ciao. If they don't shut up, let me read that over. I am on a long road to healing and so is my family, but we thank each and every one of you for your love, prayers, and continued support. This was certainly to my satisfaction. See y'all soon, Dr. Harwell. How scary is that, guys? My goodness, my goodness. And how crazy, how crazy. And I'm glad that she mentioned about things on social media not being taken seriously because I don't know about you guys, but we've seen harassment and things that turned into unaliving, okay? Not attempted, but unaliving. We've also seen a whole lot of harassment when it comes to Melody Cherie, and that's why a lot of us have been a voice, if you will, uh, when it comes to mail. But let me go ahead and read this other post that Dr. Derricka Harwell shared last night. Um, because I believe maybe a lot of people does not agree with the verdict. And I don't know if she's experiencing more, you know, harassment, but it's crazy. Uh, but she said, let's be clear. Ashley Grayson was found guilty of trying to unalive me, me, my life. This has nothing at all to do with courses. If you're selecting now to talk about courses after a guilty verdict as an attempt to supersede or minimize the heinous crimes committed, in my opinion, you're just as disgusting of an individual and I pray God never puts you in my shoes. Additionally, it sounds absolutely insane defending someone who tried to commit unaliving by ignorantly stating everyone just wants to see them down because she's a black woman. No, we just want murderers held accountable for their actions of trying to unalive chow. That's deep, okay? We want them held accountable for the actions of trying to unalive, especially in the presence of children. My God. Moreover, I was never Ashley's business partner, nor did I ever purchase her course. In fact, she purchased mine and then said to have made millions. But that's a discussion for a different day. Lastly, please understand this has been going on since 2021 when I first went to file a restraining order. And I showed you guys her comment when she said she was going to do that. When I first went to the police, so many fake narratives is getting absurd. I'm quiet because it isn't over. This is a process. And lastly, for the many who plan to attend sentencing, Please be respectful. 
This is an internet thing for you, but it's our reality. Just hearing my teenagers' victim impact statements broke me down for three days. This isn't a joke or game for us, and we appreciate your respect and gentleness. I will return to business in the next few days, so if you're following me for tea, I'm letting you know now, this page is here to help you get your slice of the pie. I'll be back with business tips, credit education, and I'm also noting several things affecting us like massive breach. I'll tell you what happened and what you can do about it to protect yourself, but no tea. You'll have to quench your thirst elsewhere for now, but I'm happy to feed you. Happy Financial Friday and see you soon, Dr. D. Harwell. Dr. D. Harwell. And for her to say, uh, as far as how this affected her children, yeah, this is a big deal. This is absolutely serious. And I am so glad that she has justice. I am. And it needs to happen more often. Again, we see the workings of a lot right here on social media. And, you know, if you follow any of these stories, true crimes and everything else, most times it leads to the actual plot being finished. OK, um, so blessings and prayers going up to Dr. Derricka Harwell. Uh, as I mentioned, her and Mel, they go way back, way back. I've seen Derricka on several of Mel's lives. I know you guys uh, have as well. And, you know, that is her sister. That is her sister. Now, I have something else. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I wanted to read a post that she made to mail. Let me see if I have the full, uh, well, this was a post about one of the mimosas with Melody. And I'm going to read it from my phone because it looks like I clipped off the bottom. I clipped off the bottom. But on this post, it says, well, look, she just uh, a couple days ago as well, um, apologized. And let me go to that one. Sorry, guys. Let me go to that one. Because she was supposed to be at the Mimosas with Melody event with uh, Hill Harper, you know, the one that just happened. And she was not able to attend. And look, we understand why. I just read what she's been going through. So we definitely understand why she was not able to. And I'm on social media, child. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here it is. Here it is. Let me go ahead and share and read this real quickly for you guys. But yeah, they go way back. Now, there's been some talk in the past couple of days about Dr. Shanita Foster as well. And I'm going to show you guys how far Mel and Shanita Foster go back. But let me go ahead and read this. Uh, she looks gorgeous here. But she said, I just want to thank you all for allowing my family and I this time as we really need it. This has been a lot on us and it immediately affected my health in the worst way. I was physically unable to speak at the Hill Harper for Senate fundraiser hosted by Melody Cherie in Atlanta. And I'm so sorry I disappointed anyone looking to see me there. I never miss anything my sisters do on or off TV. And my absence pierced me with the crying. Oh, but I promise to make up for it. Nonetheless, I'll be back soon with more info, free info, including business and credit tips. So drop some of the topics you'd like me to touch on related to business or credit only struggles you're having with with your business or credit. So it pained her. It pained her not being able to be at the mimosas with Mel last weekend. But look, I know that Mel totally, totally understands. Okay. Uh, but, and again, prayers going up to um, Derricka and her family. Uh, it's been a joy just to watch her. I've been a follower of her or quite some time, but naturally, whenever she's on with Mel, I've really caught those lives, and she's a boss, okay? And I think that Ashley, 
had an issue with that. I really, really do. Um, before I get to that, let me share this with you guys, because this is how bad it was when it comes to Ashley Grayson. There was a change.org petition, um, and this dates back to August of 2022. And I'm not going to read everything, but I will read how it starts off. She targeted a platform with mainly minorities using our struggles as a marketing tactic, tactic excuse me, to make you richer. Not only that, but you used a fabricated struggle story of your own to support this. And it went on to say that she never really explained the courses. Uh, it was fabricated posts, filtered reviews, false testimonies, all of the above. They said that she used God while marketing to minorities. Uh, you knew that a lot of us have a strong faith. You loosely use God and his word for your benefit, which is disturbing. Um, and yeah, this petition gained a lot of signatures and I can almost guarantee that this too played a part in her conviction. So she she's where she she will be, where she needs to be. And as I mentioned, I want them to give her the full 10 years. That's disgusting, a disgusting human being. And justice was served again. But I do want to show you guys this. This is Mimosas with Melody way back in 2019. Okay. And if you guys look down here, you will see Dr. Shanita Foster. Dr. Shanita Foster. So that is how long, and I'm sure it spans back even before this, but she was just at Mimosas with Mail last week, and she was uh, a part of this one in October of 2019. So shout out to them, Black women sticking together for years. You know what I'm saying? For years. But lastly, I want to show you guys this cute, cute video. Um, in my research, child, I ran across this, and I definitely want to make sure to play it. This is when Mel was pregnant with Sugar Mama, child. This is when she was still in the home with Mr. Martel Holt, September of 2019. And we know just from Mel's post this week, she bounced. April 2020. But take a look. So cute. I made me a little clip from this. Take a look at this video, guys. Um, and this was Mel talking about her mimosas with Melody. Oh, child, let me turn up that volume. Let me turn up the volume all the way. Let me do that. Let me go back here. Let's start it over and take a look. Look at the cute little baby bump. Sugar Mama was still inside, child. Take a look, guys. Look, girl, Mel, and let me tell y'all, what's first and the tea has been. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm here to address right now. I'm here to talk to you guys about Mimosas with Melody happening October 19th in Atlanta at the Biltmore Ballroom. If you haven't gotten your ticket, you need to go ahead and get your ticket, okay? When I say my panelists are always the fire, I'm talking about women who have started businesses from the ground up, women who took a leap from a nine to five into entrepreneurship, women who got hit with health issues and overcame those struggles, just women who dealt with life. And we're all coming together to share this with you guys. So if you have not gotten your ticket, go to melodyshold.com and get your ticket. And you know, y'all know I'm transparent. Y'all know I'm very open and honest. I'm very straight up. Sometimes that's I think what people don't like is I'm so straight up and direct, but oh well, that's just my role. Um, so you know I'm going to definitely be addressing some of this tea that's been put out, okay? <laughs> but that's the only place I'm going to be addressing it. So if you aren't in the building October 19th, you're gonna miss out. Let me go ahead and tell you, get your ticket. They're already leaving fast. Sold out of early bird already. Go to melodyshold.com, get your ticket, and I hope to see you guys October 19th. So let me get back to my tea and walking out here in my backyard. I hope y'all have a great weekend. Oh. Oh. So as I mentioned, guys, that dates back to September 13th, 2020. 
19. That is, and it started before this, how long Mel has been hitting the pavement, okay? Hitting the pavement and just showing us again what it looks like to never, ever give up. As I mentioned, a um, couple months later, she left Mr. Martel Holt. But here is another one. I showed you guys the one with Shanita Foster. Here is the Mimosas with Melody. And I believe this was the following year, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this was 2020 with uh, Mel and Derricka. So I love seeing women doing boss moves, but not only that, sticking together as friends. And I'm glad that the rough part when it comes to um, Derricka, I'm glad that that is over as far as this judgment against Ashley. But mentally, this is a lot that she will have to continue to go through and deal with and pull herself up from and be there for her kids and everything else. Just imagine if that plot was carried out. Just imagine. So it's nothing to play with, but I'm glad it's over. Again, prayers going out to her. I know Mel has been there for her every step of the way, as she should, again, as sisters. But thank you guys for joining me. The scary situation is over, at least when it comes to Ashley. And yeah, go ahead and give her the full 10 years. Make her sir er bit er day. Okay. Um, but you guys, before you go, um, well, let me say this. I want you guys to drop down in the comments. Let me know if you knew of this situation in detail. Um, it was a whole lot, and it was all over social media, uh, as far as Ashley and her scamming child. Ashley and her scamming. Um, but let me know if you knew the connection when it comes to Dr. Derricka Harwell and um, drop down and let me know your thoughts about it. Also, before you go, please make sure to hit that like button, hit the notification bell. Definitely make sure you are subscribed and share the video with your friends. I'll be back with a couple more videos today. Cutie crew, I'll see you guys later. And I will chat with you guys soon. Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat. Chit chat. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT.